This is a little walkthrough of this prototype I made this week, laying out a Zoom transcript onto um, onto Miro in kind of a swim lane uh, comments across kind of a timeline. And I'm going to kind of demo it to you now and um, as it's being built. And um, here it is. So I'm calling it Zoom Miro 0 0.1. I'll put it over here. And uh, the way that this one works is um, it's going to take in a, a Zoom uh, voice-to-text uh, transcript with, uh, I think they're using Otter AI under the hood. You get a, uh, a transcript and you can load it into a Google Sheet. And uh, you just basically take the transcript uh, doc and copy all and paste it into the upper left. Then you make this uh, uh, doc shareable. Um, and... Uh, and you copy the URL and excuse me, paste it, paste it in here, and then um, you're going to hit uh, hit import. Let me. Uh, and um, it takes a second because it's a lot of this one's a lot of data. This was like an hour and a half call, so it was um, I think 764 comments utterances from people and so this is kind of what the the swim lane ends up looking like these oh we're going to do the lines here um so it does take Miro a little bit of time to to lay all this out um we'll give it a second what you have is um each of these lanes is a commenter they're labeled up here at the top and um, it's very long. Um, I think I can, I'll just select it all. I'll move it, move it over here. It's a little better. Um, great, so let's take a look at this. Videoing it lags a little bit. Okay, so um, yeah, each one of these is a commenter. These are people in a in a meeting, and um, the person that kicks it off, uh, the first people, they they um, lay out from left to right in order of the first people to talk. So the the natural order is for this thing to kind of expand. Uh, this this meeting, you can kind of see the as I scroll down, you'll see the structure of it. Um, it had a lead facilitator who was kicking out for updates from people. And so you can kind of see facilitator, update, facilit maybe a comment from one person back, facilitator, update. And it goes back and forth. And then you will find some places where you get into this very, you can see kind of the, you can kind of pattern match the places uh, where conversation really kicks in, uh, where people respond to somebody other than the facilitator. And there's lots of back and forth with the facilitator. So you can see you know, you can kind of just visually start to see what's what's an update and what isn't. Um, it's interesting when you zoom in here, um, these use sticky notes, um, you still have to really get in there to really like read these. And, uh, you know, I suppose you could come through here and kind of annotate as you went along. Um, so to, I instantly want a lot of different interface capabilities and start dreaming of them. Um, but like, you know, you can imagine also running the chat um, transcript along here, uh, people taking notes, um, and uh, it'd be really interesting to, to to kind of imagine what this looks like as well if you came back to it as a, you know, as a document um, from a meeting and said, you know, oh, we really like, you know, this 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 part of the conversation. And really want to come back back to it, and then you say what you say to yourself, okay, like, what if, what if we launch, you know, from this into kind of a new, a new stream of conversation? So you can imagine, kind of, annotating after the fact, like these are the places we didn't end up having a conversation, but we wanted to. Uh, I think that could be really interesting, um, and. You could also imagine putting in, you know, notes and links and other images that that make these areas more robust. And then you can also imagine coming in perhaps and taking people's comments, um, and then tagging them, 
and then using you know other tools to then visualize the connections of of interconnected thoughts. I think there's a lot you could do with it. Um, I also have laid this one out horizontally. I thought horizontally made it felt more intuitive. Um, it feels a lot more like a a timeline running to the right. I like how it builds better. I also think it fits the monitor better and you, I utilize space. So I can picture putting lots of information up here. I, I certainly would love for this to happen in real time, would be able to just access this real time. I think there's some real possibilities for that. You can imagine um, this kind of laying out behind you and people uh, you know, building um, and visualizing uh, a conversation above it, screenshots and so on. And you can imagine kind of anything that's based on the log of the conversation um, traversing along here. And then you can imagine also longer conferences where people decide, yeah, like I showed in the last one where they decide to come back and say, uh, we'd like to branch from this piece of conversation. They kind of re come back, revisit this piece and they say, let's, uh, let's, uh, take all this and move it into its own trajectory. And yeah, it's really interesting, but um, curious what, uh, what other people think.